Welcome. As this year of pandemic education winds down, welcoming you to the Edgewood High School of the Sacred Heart Honors Convocation is a joy. I'd like to thank the donors, the family members, and the faculty whose care and support have nudged these students along their paths to this time and place of recognition. I'd like to pay special tribute to English teacher Sarah McFadden, who, though she's been here only a year, imparted wisdom and expertise to her students as readers, writers, and thinkers. We wish her well at Verona High School. Huge thanks to our 12th grade moderators, Lindsay Edquist and Olivia Greenfield, and the Student Services Department, who have shepherded these students through such a challenging year. To all of you we honor today, what a testament to our community and to the rich tradition of our institution you are. The inspiring range of talents, commitments, and values you espouse and enact makes honoring you a privilege. Please join me in welcoming Senior Andrew Tramp, an Edgewood leader in mind and spirit. Andrew's practical advocacy on our schedule evaluation committee, his deep spirit showcased as a member of this year's preaching team, his sense of humor shared in the TikTok of the week, his academic strengths evidenced in a higher than 3.75 grade point average, his leadership in his church, and as the Mad City Baseball All-Team Captain are all elements of Andrew's excellence. We are honored to have him lead us in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, today, I ask you to surround our community with your never-ending grace. Give us the insight and wisdom to spread hope into each other's lives. As we wrap up this school year, I ask you to give us the guidance needed as we continue forth on our separate journeys. And no matter where these journeys may take us, I ask you to bring success into the lives of everyone in our community. God, as we move on to the next chapter of our lives, I ask you to remind us of those who helped us along the way. May we give thanks to those who are with us and remember those we have lost in our community this past year. May their lives be remembered not only by their names, but by the humble testament to which they lived. Day in and day out, their lives have touched us in one way or another. May we be reminded of their dedication to our growth and achievement. And God, I ask you to protect us, be present, and fill us with your spirit as we embark on our future journey. Give us the courage to recreate a world of justice, peace, and love as we make our way through the pandemic together. Bring forth the encouragement our community needs when we are challenged and strengthen our hearts in the face of adversity. I pray this in your name, God, Heavenly Father, Amen. Thank you, Ms. Stefan, for your introduction and Andrew for your heartfelt prayer. Today, we gather virtually for our annual Honors Convocation. During this program, we will not only honor specific individuals for outstanding achievement and recognition in various areas, but also the entire Edgewood student body, faculty, staff, and parents and guardians for going above and beyond during this most unusual and challenging year. Class of 2021, we especially recognize and congratulate you as you graduate. We know this has not been the end of your high school career that you anticipated, but you have shown your strength as individuals and as a class. We start our recognition with a group of awards steeped in tradition and established in the memory of special friends and alumni of Edgewood High School of the Sacred Heart. We are grateful for their support of our students and community and are confident that these following awardees will uphold the shared values by which they were selected for these awards. 
The William H. Bremer Class of 70 Music Clinic Scholarship is available through the generosity of those who have donated to the William H. Bremer Memorial Fund, typically presented by Carol Bremer, William's mother, EHS past parent and grandparent, and 57-year volunteer for Edgewood High School. The recipients are Sarah Gorman and Henry Gill. The Wisconsin Football Foundation was founded in memory of George H. Christ, Edgewood class of 55. George Christ served as an Edgewood High School social studies teacher, football and basketball coach, and athletic director. The EHS nominee this year is Charles Clark. The Balweg Service Scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior. The award is based on community service during a student's Edgewood career with particular emphasis on service outside of Edgewood High School. Typically presented by Diane Balweg, Class of 71, Krista Hanna is the recipient of this year's Balweg Service Scholarship. The class of 1994 presents this award on behalf of a truly outstanding member of their class. Joanna Petterly, a 1994 graduate of Edgewood High School, left an unforgettable mark on everyone who knew her through her energetic, vivacious, and loving presence. This award is given to a deserving senior who demonstrates strong leadership ability, a Christian compassion for others, and a powerful love of life. Joanna's memory lives on through the recipient's smile, friendship, and celebration of life. Joanna's friend, Kara Conway Mulligan, 94, has typically presented this award in the past. Sarah Lazar is the recipient of this award. The Joanna C. Petterly 94 Scholarship was established by parents and friends of the Petterly family in memory of Joanna and the spirit with which she lived. The scholarship is based on an endowment, which will provide funds each year to a graduating senior who exemplifies the qualities identified in Joanna. Sylvia Patterson is the recipient of this scholarship. Joanna's sister, Gretchen, class of 98, and Gretchen's son, James, usually honor Joanna by presenting this award annually. The Exponential Growth Richard Scafronic Memorial Scholarship goes to a senior who has demonstrated personal growth and improvement in the areas of science and math. This scholarship is in memory of Richard Scafronic, a former Edgewood parent. We would like to recognize Jacob Linderoth as the recipient of the Exponential Growth Richard Scafronic Memorial Scholarship. The purpose of the Fulton Music Scholarship is to provide financial assistance to EHS students wishing to attend a summer music program to enhance their musical education experience and share what is learned with other peers through continued participation in the Edgewood High School Music Department. Presented in the past by Jim and Terry Fulton, the recipients are Ava Bachhuber and Sonia Insolia. Dedicated to the memory of Philip Brierly, this award goes to a student who is interested in pursuing a career in the sciences and who shares the same high standards as Philip. Jade Fitzgerald is the recipient of this scholarship. The Joseph E. Zayman Jr. Memorial Award is presented by the Science Department in loving memory of biology teacher Joseph E. Zayman Jr. This award is given to a student who shares Joe's love for nature and environmental science through active and original research. We know that Joe's colleague, Dr. Bob Shannon, would love to have presented this year's award to recipient Sadie Hafer in person. The Jeff Arnold Memorial Crusaders Spirit Award is selected by the student services and the athletic departments and annually presented by former classmate Chris Conahan in memory of Jeff Arnie Arnold, class of 1994. Arnie was a student here with enthusiasm and a love for Edgewood second to none. Two seniors who share Arnie's passion and enthusiasm for the Edgewood community have been selected for recognition. This year's recipients are Edgewood seniors Kylie Dipfick and Haley Rothwell. The John E. Wall family would like to provide two scholarships to seniors who have provided Edgewood High School with leadership, academic achievement, and community service. Ryan Thompson and Carolyn Yeager are the recipients of the scholarships typically presented by Jim Yeager. 
The Lori Mullen Encourage Award is in honor of Lori Mullen, a compassionate and dedicated counselor in the Edgewood Student Services Department for 20 years. This award goes to two senior students who depict Ms. Mullen's courageous spirit. Typically presented by Lori's son, Brian Mullen, Helen Benneker and Nash Dara are the recipients of the Encourage Award. Joseph W. Morey Class of 39 Scholarship is awarded to a senior student planning to attend the University of Wisconsin-Madison. In honor of Mr. Morey, a lifelong public servant, the student recipient is tasked with continuing to strive towards the following goals. Service to others, because there is a need, not because there may be reward. Commitment to family, participation and leadership in school, maximization of opportunities, and striving to be the best you can be. Sidney Olson is the recipient of this year's Maury Scholarship. The Bob Growney Commitment Award is in honor of Robert D. Growney, Edgewood High School principal, teacher, coach, past parent, and community member of 35 years. Mr. Growney's commitment to our community is unparalleled as can be seen through his work with faculty and staff, parents, and students. Mr. Growney's 20-year tenure as Edgewood's principal is second only to Sister Kathleen O'Connell. We would like to recognize Jen Trost. Mrs. Trost served as Mr. Growney's assistant until he retired and currently works closely with Mrs. Steffens as assistant to the principal. Despite her official title, she truly plays a larger role in making sure our entire school is running smoothly, from handcrafting each student's individual class schedule to regularly organizing meetings between 60-plus busy faculty members' schedules. In addition to her consistent commitment to our school through these efforts, we are especially grateful to Mrs. Trost during the 2020-2021 school year as she has dedicated hundreds of hours to coordinating the multiple transitions to in-person and virtual student schedules and classroom arrangements. Thank you, Mrs. Trost, for all you do for Edgewood High School. The Edgewood Honor Society is devoted to scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Through Edgewood Honor Society activities, members maintain and extend the qualities that earned them selection. We would like to especially recognize Edgewood Honor Society officers Sarah Cook, Leah Yekush, Ella Johnson, and Carolyn Yeager. Junior and senior members of the Edgewood Honor Society spent the year tutoring their peers and volunteering with student services. Active senior members who dedicated their time to supporting the Edgewood community in these ways have received honor cords to be worn at the graduation ceremony. The 2021 Director's Award is presented to students who have participated in drama and have demonstrated exceptional abilities as actors or technicians with high standards in rehearsal and performance, and a strong sense of integrity and dedication. Congratulations, Sean Beyer and Stella Jekyll, for being the recipients of the 2021 Director's Award. The Senior Service Awards in Drama are the highest awards given by the Drama Department. These are awarded to seniors who throughout four years of Edgewood have demonstrated an enthusiastic degree of positive leadership and have participated in all aspects of the productions. These students will be remembered for their outstanding contributions to the development of dramatic arts at Edgewood. Congratulations Grace Dolan and Catherine Gorman. The phrase drama builds character sums up the philosophy and approach that drives Edgewood drama. The Drama Bills Character Award is an honor given students who have exemplified the spirit of community, hard work, and enthusiasm required to make theater. Congratulations John Ortman, William Rosemurgy, and Ayana Vandewal. Service to community is at the core of Edgewood High School's values. Congratulations to those who have doubled your 100 hours Edgewood High School service hour requirement. The following seniors earned 500 service hours or more. Krista Hanna, Megan McCoy, Shea Pigarelli, Amanda Rivera Torres, Nicole Schmidt, and Michelle Schmidt. 
The Dominican Service Award is for seniors who have demonstrated an active and ongoing commitment to service throughout their years at Edgewood by completing 500 or more hours of community service. Krista Hanna, Megan McCoy, Michelle Schmidt, and Nicole Schmidt. The Campus Ministry Department is proud to honor all of its peer ministers. The following peer ministers exemplify the spirit of peer ministry, leadership, compassion, service, and a positive role model. On behalf of the Campus Ministry Department, we recognize Catherine Gorman, Amanda Rivera-Torres, and Andrew Tramp with the 2021 Peer Mentorship Award. The Samuel Mazzucchelli Award is given to the senior who most exemplifies the Cincinnati Dominican values of truth, compassion, justice, community, and partnership as deemed worthy by her or his peers. Chris Tehanna was nominated by a majority of seniors to be the recipient of this year's Samuel Mazzucchelli Award. Grace Dolan, Sarah Lazar, Leo Richardson, Amanda Rivera-Torres, and Andrew Tramp were commissioned as our Dominican preaching team. We greatly appreciate all of their extra time and work in promoting our Dominican heritage here at Edgewood High School. The English department would like to recognize and thank the following students for their contributions to the production and publication of this year's The Wayfarer. Editor-in-Chief Sarah Cook and copy editor Natalie Ring. Many students served as reviewers, editorial, and design staff of The Wayfarer. In this role, these students were responsible for the selection of pieces of student writing for publication. In addition, some of the students worked on the layout and design of the magazine. The following students are the members of the reviewers, editorial, and design staff. Sarah Cook, Eric Gilbertson, Audrey Maschiopinto, Florissa Patterson, Sylvia Patterson, Natalie Ring, and Eleni Sklavos. Congratulations to all Edgewood High School students who participated in our 2020-2021 writing contest, especially first place winners Floressa and Sylvia Patterson. The World Affairs Seminar Delicate Scholarship is awarded to two sophomore students who attended an intensive week-long seminar where they worked collectively with other international youth from 30 other countries to develop a better understanding of world problems and international conflict, using current issues as a learning platform. Congratulations Susanna Kirchner and William Martin. The music department honors student musicians each year with special awards. These students were chosen either by student ballot or by the music faculty and are recognized for their special contributions to the EHS music program. The National School Choral Award is presented to senior concert choir members. This year's recipients are Grace Dolan and Catherine Gorman. The National School Orchestra Award is presented to a senior orchestra member. Congratulations, Alyssa McHugh. The National Aryan Foundation Award presents an award to a senior choir member. Congratulations, John Durr. The John Philip Sousa Band Award is presented in recognition of an outstanding senior band member. This year's recipient is Leo Richardson. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award recognizes a senior jazz ensemble member. This year's recipient is Kaya Farhad. The U.S. Marine Corps Semper Fidelis Award recognizes musical excellence and is awarded to a senior band member. We recognize Stella Jekyll and Joshua Jerisha. The Raymond F. Dvorak Band Award is presented to a senior band member. Congratulations to Helen Banneker. The Madison West Kiwanis Musician Award is given to deserving band students to participate in a summer music workshop. Congratulations Logan Grabens and Henry Mays. The Frederick Chopin Piano Award is presented to piano students with outstanding ability and achievement. This year's recipients are Michelle Schmidt and Nicole Schmidt. The Instrumentalist Teachers Award for Orchestra is awarded to a senior student for a commitment leadership and musicianship. This year's awardee is Jack Tomlinson. 
The Instrumentalist Teachers Award for Band is awarded to a senior student for commitment, leadership, and musicianship. This year's awardee is Anna Eckstein. The Edgewood High School Athletic Association and Athletic Department honors athletes each year with the Senior Memorial Awards. These students were chosen by the coaches of EHS from numerous nominees and are recognized for their overall contribution to the sports program at Edgewood High School. The Farley Memorial Awards are given to seniors who have demonstrated leadership and service in the classroom and on the athletic field. This year's awards go to Balaki Dang and Leo Richardson. The Earl J. Wilkie Leadership Awards are given to outstanding leaders in their sports. This year, the recipients are Gabriella Foti and Owen Frido. The Flad Memorial Award is given to a deserving hockey player. This year's award goes to Zachary Walker. The Santa Memorial Awards are given to outstanding track athletes. This year's awards go to Sidney Olson and Leo Richardson. The Jim McCormick Memorial Awards are given to a deserving softball and baseball player. This year's awards go to Benjamin Newton and Michelle Schmidt. The Hoffman Memorial Awards are presented to deserving and well-rounded athletes that lead their peers and teammates by example. This year's awards go to Elliot Collum and Grace Dolan. The Tom McCormick Memorial Awards are given to outstanding male and female golfers. This year's awards go to Ethan Arndt and Caitlin Hagenbarth. Charles Clark and Nicole Schmidt are Edgewood High School's WIAA Scholar Athlete nominees for this year. The following seniors are recognized as Edgewood High School's three sport athletes who participated in athletics for all three seasons and all four years while attending Edgewood High School. Elliot Collum, James Hackworthy, Benjamin Newton, Sidney Olson, and Jeffrey Russell. Good day, student body, parents, guardians, faculty, staff, family, and friends. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Ms. Alexandra Cruz, a distinguished and more importantly respected member of the senior class of 2021. Alexandra was selected by her fellow classmates to speak at our all school virtual honors convocation this year as a student representative to address our school's community as we celebrate hard work awards, recognitions, and our overall community strength. Allie has been a very active member the last four years at Edgewood High School. She's participated in co-curriculars and athletics alike. It's hard to believe that Allie, like so many students in our school, have found a tremendous amount of time to take part in the many opportunities our school, greater Madison and surrounding communities have to offer. Allie's dedication to academics, athletics, and being a mentor to her peers with the philosophy to approach service with integrity has made Allie as successful as she has been over the last years at Edgewood. Throughout Allie's career at Edgewood, she's participated in athletics, such as serving as team captain in 9th through 12th grade. She's also worked hard for her class, serving as class president uh, 10th through 12th grade. Allie has over 120 documented service hours as she spent time serving as an Edgewood Link Crew leader mentoring elementary school kids in the summer through reading programs such as Eager Readers, organizing efforts to raise funds for clean water in communities which are worldwide, helping run soccer and basketball camps for youth throughout the city, and helping build homes as well as partaking in daycare at the Crow Reservation located in Montana through a mission trip, just to name a few. Earning a GPA of a 4.0, taking part in several AP courses and honors, honors courses um, here at Edgewood, Allie will be attending UW-Madison next year with plans in studying marketing and real estate while playing soccer. Congratulations to all. Please welcome Alexander Cruz. Quote. The greatness of a community is most accurately measured by the compassionate actions of its members." End quote. 
This was stated by female activist, author, and the wife of Martin Luther King Jr., Coretta Scott King. As we gather here today, after an unexpected and out of the ordinary year, I find it extremely important to acknowledge just how far we have come as an Edgewood community. It is key that we address the challenges that we faced, but it is crucial that we instead focus on how we overcame them, how we adapted to them, and how the adversity strengthened and improved our community. Today, I am honored and grateful to celebrate with you all our academic, athletic, musical, and community accomplishments that the Edgewood student body has achieved. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected us all in various ways. Our everyday lifestyle has changed. The way we learn, communicate with each other, greet one another has been modified for our safety. Yet, Edgewood stood by its students in this chaotic time and the faculty, staff, parents, and guardians of Edgewood diligently worked to allow students to continue to have a typical high school experience. When other schools chose to cancel their sports seasons, our athletic department found ways to keep student athletes playing the game they love. Even if it meant radically adjusting training schedules and locations. I think I can speak on behalf of all of my classmates involved in athletics when I say thank you for allowing us to have our final senior seasons. Furthermore, Edgewood Fine Arts has put up a tent outside of the Performing Arts Center to safely allow band students to practice, as well as having a virtual musical to showcase the talent that Edgewood holds. There are countless things that make the Edgewood community stand out, but the one that has become extremely apparent is the devotion that the Edgewood teachers have to their students. Our five Dominican values shine with bright colors when you hear about teachers Zooming with foreign exchange students at eight o'clock at night in Madison to allow the students in China and Taiwan the same educational class at nine in the morning, their time, as well as teachers editing and re-editing their week at a glances so that whether you are asynchronous or synchronous, in person or virtual, it is clear what your responsibility for that day is. Thank you faculty and staff members for being flexible when technical difficulties would arise and for supporting us during both virtual and in-person learning. Lastly, thank you for not just giving me a high school education, but rather teaching me to break down barriers and become a lifelong learner. In reference to Coretta Scott King's statement, the true greatness of the Edgewood community does indeed derive from the compassionate actions of its members. The COVID-19 pandemic has taught us to become a resilient generation that perseveres during challenging times. This same resilience taught us to face our personal battles while balancing the impact of the pandemic. Through adversity, we have learned to seize opportunities that we may have previously taken for granted. A warm hug from a loved one, a stadium crowd roaring after a touchdown, and a jam-packed theater on a Friday night, as well as the roller coaster of emotions that is life itself. Now we are able to understand that because of the worst, we became better for each other. All in all, maybe the world needed a time out so that we could remember how to appreciate what we may have forgotten to truly experience. Today, I leave you with one simple reminder. Be proud of what you have accomplished and the person you are becoming. With the past year being 
anything but ordinary. You deserve to be proud of everything you have achieved. Thank you. We are pleased to recognize the following seniors who each have a cumulative GPA of 3.75 or higher. These seniors are our high honor graduates and received honor cords to wear during their graduation ceremony to represent this achievement. The following students, grades 9 through 12, are recipients of the Academic Excellence Award for earning a cumulative GPA of 3.9 or higher. Senior Academic Excellence Award recipients also received Dominican black and white cords to wear during their graduation ceremony to represent this accomplishment. The Badger Conference recently recognized the top 10 academically ranked seniors of each of the members' high schools. Ethan Arndt, Charles Clark, Joshua Jerisha, William Klipstein, Sarah Lazar, Jacob Linderoth, Sylvia Patterson, Haley Rothwell, Alex Svetoslavsky, Ryan Thompson. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers and the Wisconsin Higher Education Aids Board acknowledge the top scholars at each high school in recognition of their outstanding scholastic achievement with a scholarship. Congratulations, William Klipstein. The National Merit Scholarship Program recognized seniors with the special honor of commended student status. Congratulations, Joshua Jerisha, William Klipstein, and Sylvia Patterson. From an original pool of 50,000 PSAT high scorers nationwide, the National Merit Scholarship Program recognizes fewer than 7,500 of America's outstanding scholars with finalist status. This year, the following Edgewood seniors earned the highest academic distinction. Jacob Linderoth, Sergei Munt, Huray Song, and Ryan Thompson. College Board and the Advanced Placement Program recognizes students for their achievements in the AP exams over their high school careers. Upon completing AP exams through the 2019-2020 school year, the following students have earned honors. AP scholars, Ethan Arndt, Joshua Jerisha, Jacob Linderoth. AP Scholars with Distinction, Samuel Kataroff and Huray Song. Congratulations to these students and the additional students who will likely receive similar recognition after completing their 2021 AP exams successfully. The Link Crew program provides a structure which guides freshmen toward both academic and social success. Link Crew is made up of juniors and seniors who help to create an environment where freshmen learn that people at school care about them and their futures. With Link Crew, students help students succeed. Student Services would like to acknowledge two senior students who have persevered through challenges when others may have given up. Congratulations to our comeback kids, Finn McIntosh and Ayla O'Connell. The Eddie Edgewood Spirit Award is given to a student who has gone above and beyond in their effort to provide community and spirit throughout Edgewood High School. Congratulations to Owen Frito and Alexandra Wilcox. The Unity Point Health Meritor Scholarship is awarded to the following seniors who are pursuing careers in the medical field. Joelle Brown, Kira Hamm, Bronte Jensen, Joshua Jerisha, Megan McCoy, Shea Pigarelli, Michelle Schmidt, and Carmen Schultz. The Urban League of Madison selected the following students for the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Outstanding Young Persons Award from Edgewood High School. They are Joelle Brown, Alwang Dang, Kaylin Greenbetty, Tarawe Hampton, Ariana Huff, Arun Kumal, Olivia Moore, Amanda Rivera Torres, and Willow Walker. Joelle Brown and Olivia Moore were also recipients of the Urban League's Betty Franklin Hammonds Scholarships. 
The Madison Rotary Foundation Scholarship is awarded to 21 students in the greater Madison area in recognition of their perseverance and determination. Balaki Dang and Raekwon Timothy were two of those students selected. Michael Rainier was recognized by the Wanaki Rotary Club through their Foundation's Service to Humanity Scholarship. Congratulations, Michael. Michael Rainier was also recognized for his commitment to fairness, advocacy, and community sport through the distinction of Judge, an integral component of the Rotary Club of Madison's Community Service Award deliberation process. The Rotary Club of Madison awarded the Academic Improvement Award to a student from each class with the greatest grade point improvement from last year. Congratulations to senior Jonathan Tremere, junior Jordan Imhoff Everix, and sophomore Henry Mays. Jacob Linderoth has merited the Senior Academic Achievement Award from the Rotary Club of Madison for his achievements. Ethan Arndt has been awarded the Outstanding Senior Award from the Rotary Club of Madison for his academics, character, leadership, and extracurricular activities. Megan McCoy and Grace Dolan were Edgewood High School's nominees for the Community Service Award from the Rotary Club of Madison. Grace Dolan was one of six citywide scholarship recipients of this award. The Rotary Club of Madison has selected Michael Bear for the Sophomore Youth Leadership Award. This student will represent Edgewood High School at a leadership conference this summer. Lorelei Klitsky and Amanda Rivera Torres were recognized for their student leadership, academic achievement, and community service through Madison South Rotary Club's Outstanding Student Award. Madison West Lions Club awards a scholarship each year in recognition of service to the community. This year's recipient is Eric Gilbertson. Shea Pigarelli has been recognized for her service efforts as a recipient of the Madison Kiwanis West Henry Algren Humanitarian Scholarship. The Madison Community Foundation has awarded Michelle Schmidt with the Hazel B. Pascal Scholarship. The United States Marine Corps recognizes one student for his commitment to his academic and athletic accomplishment through their Distinguished Athlete Award. This year's award goes to Alexander Svatoslavsky. The United States Marine Corps would like to acknowledge one outstanding senior for the Marine Corps Scholastic Excellence Award. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Kira Hamm. The Daughters of the American Revolution have recognized Shea Pigarelli with a Good Citizen Award based on her academic achievements and community service. The Herb Cole Foundation has recognized Jade Fitzgerald as an initiative scholar for her exceptional scholarship, leadership, citizenship, and school and community involvement. The Wisconsin Leadership Seminar recognizes an outstanding sophomore leader. This year, Ruslana Novoselska was identified as an emerging leader chosen to represent Edgewood at the 2021 WILS Seminar. I have to start by saying as president, I look forward to this event each and every year because it is a celebration of hard work that leads to multiple well-deserved academic accomplishments by our Edgewood High School students. Amazing things continue to happen here because of the relationships built on trust that are created and strengthened daily. The Edgewood education experience is a true partnership between faculty, staff, students, and parents. We are very proud of this and feel it is the cornerstone for success of our Edgewood experience. I would like to thank our Student Services Department for all the extra time and energy they invested today. An event like this does not just happen. Thanks to Ben Mund and his team for all the tech support and thanks to Dennis McKinley for being our MC. Most of all, I want to thank you, our students, for all your time, hard work, and energy invested to be the best you can be, especially this year. We are so very proud of you and thankful that you choose Edgewood to be your high school. 
Together in partnership, we are building your strong future. It's what we do. We are Edgewood.